Let's talk about how cashiers may use Passport to control the fuel dispensers on the island. Passport uses a wide variety of tactics to inform the cashier about what is occurring on the fueling island. Since your customers are not always directly in front of you, Passport strives to help you make informed decisions about what the customer is needing while using one of Gilbarca's fueling dispensers. Now let's start by reviewing all the parts of the forecourt area of your Passport screen. First, let's talk about the dispenser area. Dispenser area, located on the bottom third of the screen, shows all pumps or dispensers that are configured with Passport. The number of pumps displayed may differ based upon the number of the pumps at your store. For each dispenser, there is a fuel buffer that tells you what is going on with any specific fueling location. Each fueling position has the ability to buffer one transaction. Passport calls these buffers A and B. For each fueling position, the Passport allows particular functions. These functions are prepaid, preset, manual fuel, reprinting of a receipt, and a diagnostic screen. Located on both sides of the forecourt area are the all stop and authorize buttons. They are nice and big so that everyone can see them. The off button located on the right side is necessary for authorizing a calling dispenser or arming a dispenser prior to a customer raising the handle. The all stop button is an electronic all stop for all dispensers. It will stop the dispensers from fueling but will not cut power to the forecourt. Now notice when a dispenser is running the cashier can see the amount of fuel and money pumped so far by looking at the real-time money being displayed in the fuel buffer on the right-hand side of the screen. Also, please note, the dispenser will show a variety of different icons to represent specific events occurring on the fueling item. These examples include a card swipe versus a postpaid transaction, during an idle transaction, low paper on the forecourt dispenser, or out of paper. When a customer has raised the handle for a postpay transaction, the cashier will see a calling dispenser icon on the screen. The cashier will need to either select the dispenser and press the authorize button, or select the off button to authorize any calling dispenser. Now let's talk about prepaid transactions. Prepaid transactions are started with a cashier selecting a particular dispenser and then selecting the prepaid button. Once the prepaid button is selected, the cashier can choose to select a particular grade, but this is not required. The cashier can choose to either enter the prepaid amount by using the numeric keypad or select one of the quick payment keys. Once the cashier has selected the correct payment amount for the prepaid, the cashier will pay out the transaction through the tender button. Any valid form of payment can be used for a prepaid transaction. Once the payment has been selected, the dispenser will be preset for the correct amount and that amount will be displayed on the screen. By default, the customer has 180 seconds or roughly 3 minutes to begin fueling. If not, the dispenser will lose its authorization and the cashier will be required to reauthorize the sale. If the store wished to expand this timeout, this can be performed in the dispenser options selection in the manager's workstation. If an error has been made concerning the selection of the correct dispenser for a prepaid transaction, this can easily be addressed by the cashier after the dispenser has been authorized. Step 1. Select the pump that was accidentally selected for a prepaid and then select the stop button for that pump. The pump will no longer be authorized and you will notice a move button has now appeared in the same area. Step 2. Press the move prepay button and you will be prompted to select the appropriate pump and buffer. Select the pump and buffer and you will see the cell miraculously move to the new pump and automatically receive authorization. It is just that simple. Step 3. If the customer has already raised their handle on the new pump, you may have to request them to lower their handle. Voiding a prepay. If a cashier needs to void a prepaid transaction for any reason, this can be done by pressing the void prepaid button located on the right-hand side of the fuel function area for a specific dispenser. 
Once the void transaction button has been pressed, the cashier will then press the tender button and provide the refund to the customer. Balance prepay. If a cashier needs or wants a quick way to ring up an item along with a prepaid transaction when the customer throws down money and heads out the door, Passport has the solution. Many people quickly ring up the item and then figure out the change to authorize the pump for the correct amount. This is not necessary with Passport. Step 1. Scan or select the item that the customer has purchased, then press the appropriate pump and select the prepaid button. Instead of pressing one of the quick prepaid buttons or entering a price, press the balance button on the right hand side of the screen. Now, enter the amount that the customer has actually given you. Passport will figure out the difference and automatically set up the fuel dispenser for the correct amount. Now, doesn't that save you some time? If the customer pumps less than the prepaid amount, the cashier will be informed that change is due on a particular dispenser. To provide change, the cashier will select or bring down the fuel transaction and then select the tender button to provide a refund to the customer. If the prepaid fuel transaction was a credit transaction, a new network receipt will be printed with the correct network payment amount. If the transaction was a debit transaction, the customer will be required to re-enter their PIN information to obtain a credit to their account. If the customer should leave and not obtain the refund, the cashier can use the cash, the other, where appropriate. If the cashier needs to stop a particular dispenser or all dispensers for any reason, this can be done in two ways. For all dispensers, the cashier would press the All Stop button on the left-hand side of the screen. Once pressed, alarms will flash and the system will stop fuel flow to all dispensers. To resume the all stop, the cashier will need to press the clear all stop button on the left hand side of the screen and select yes for reauthorization of dispensers. To stop a particular dispenser while fueling, the cashier will need to select the stop the dispenser button on the fuel functions area. To resume a single stop dispenser, simply select the resume button on the fuel function area. Manual fuel transactions. Mistakes happen. When you are handling multiple customers, you sometimes accidentally hit the wrong payment key when paying out a fuel transaction. Don't panic. To address this issue and service the customer, you need to only follow a few short instructions. Step one, you need to adjust the fuel totals for cash then ring up the correct transaction for credit and not make the customer wait too long. Step 2. Refund the cash transaction. Press the refund button and then select the appropriate pump and press the manual fuel button. Enter the amount and grade that was purchased incorrectly. Select the tender to refund and keep this receipt with your till paperwork. Step 3. Now for the customer. Press the correct pump and grade and press the manual fuel button again. Enter the amount that was purchased using your previous receipt in case you forget. Now enter the correct tender type and process the customer's transaction. Make sure you keep this receipt with your paperwork as well in case the manager needs to ask any questions. Drive off transactions. If a customer should perform a postpay transaction and then drive off without paying, the cashier can be confused how to handle this situation. Depending upon company policies, the method to handle a drive off could vary. One solution would be to create a drive off tender in the tender maintenance application on the Passport Manager workstation. Once created, a cashier can select the drive off tender for only post-pay fueling transactions that apply to this situation. A special receipt will be printed and all drive-offs will be tracked separately on the cashier's till report. Reprinting receipts. There are two ways to reprint receipts in Passport. For fuel transactions you can select any particular dispenser and press the receipt button in the fuel area. 
This will show all transactions, both indoor and outdoor, that relate to this particular fueling position. To reprint the receipt, simply press the printer button on the receipt area. A cashier can also search for a receipt inside or outside based upon date and time. A cashier can press the receipt search button and select a date to begin their quest. They can look for a particular time and then print the receipt they are looking for. Passport can be configured to keep receipts for a defined period of time. It defaults to 14 days. Diagnosing dispenser issues. If a dispenser should experience an issue with either a network transaction or some other error, it will try to notify the cashier. The diagnostic icon will be displayed for a particular dispenser that exhibits an issue. The cashier will select the dispenser in question and then select the Diag button on the fuel function screen in the lower right corner. The screen will display pertinent information about the problem that is occurring at the dispenser. The cashier can clear this message by pressing the Clear Errors button. There are several functions located for use by the cashier under the dispenser menu located in the Functions button area on the cashier workstation. This cashier can get to these functions by pressing the More button and then selecting the Dispenser Menu button. There are several functions listed. The first is Dispenser Options, which drives primary secondary pump option control. If the store is configured to run in two different fuel operation modes, such as prepaid only at nighttime or unattended, this can be activated by selecting the primary secondary pump option control button. The cashier selects the primary secondary button and then proceeds to select the mode of operation that is necessary for that period of time. This function acts similar to a toggle switch since there are only two modes of operation. Dispenser menu, pump test. When technicians are at the site to perform mandatory pump tests to measure fuel flow, oftentimes this action can alter the store's fuel cells for the day when the cashier is forced to ring up the fuel cells performed to cash when no real fuel was purchased. The Pump Test button allows the cashier to select a post-pay fuel test transaction and then tell the system that fuel was placed back into one of the actual tanks or discarded. There will be a pump test tender that will be included in the cashier's till report and day reports to inform store management of the number of transactions that did occur. Dispenser menu functions, dispenser totals. When a cashier is requested to call pump totalizer information at a specific point in time, they can gather this information by pressing the dispenser totals button. This button will go to each dispenser and gather the dispenser totals information. The cashier can select to print this report by selecting the printer button. Dispenser menu, tank monitor reports. If the passport system has been configured to interface to an approved tank monitor system, a button will be available for the cashier to request tank monitor readings at any time. This report is real time and the cashier has the option to print the totals to the local receipt printer. Let's discuss specific forecourt related manager functions. All of these functions are located within the manager workstation application. Let's first talk about fuel price changes. Making quick price changes is a necessity for a busy store manager. Passport gives you choices and makes the process very simple. In the manager workstation, the manager will need to go to the pricing top menu and select fuel price change. In the fuel price change area, select the grade that you want to alter price. To select more than one grade at a time, hold the control key on your keyboard and then click each grade to highlight it. Once you've selected the grade, you can enter a new price or increase or decrease an existing price by pressing the appropriate button. Once you've changed the appropriate prices, you can decide whether to send the price change immediately at the end of the day or on demand at a certain time of day activated by the cashier. If you have a fuel price sign, it can be integrated into our passport so that all fuel price changes can automatically be pushed to the price sign at the appropriate time. Talk to your Gilbarco distributor if you're interested. Manager Workstation, Fuel Delivery. If the customer is recording fuel deliveries via the Passport system, this can be accessed via the Fuel Deliveries application located under the Fuel menu. For each tank that has received a fuel delivery, the manager must enter the amount delivered, the temperature reading, and the invoice number for the delivery. 
Once entered, the manager will press the Update List button to commit the delivery. When all tank deliveries have been entered, the manager will press the Save button. All these deliveries will be logged and reported in the fuel reports. Manager Workstation Dispenser Options The Dispenser Options tab allows the store manager to create specific options for each fueling position at the store. Please note the manager must select the secondary mode checkbox to configure these settings along with the primary mode. Some stores have split canopy design to make certain fueling positions more difficult to see at certain times of the day, therefore they may require different options. Under this application, the manager is able to set items such as authorization, timeouts for prepaid transactions, prepay only requirements, the ability to authorize a dispenser without requiring the cashier to select the particular fueling position, the service level, and the attribute of service, attended or unattended. The manager must press the update list button to show the status of their changes prior to saving. Side Options Manager Workstation the Site Option tab allows the manager or owner to configure some site-specific settings that relates directly to the way they want to merchandise and sell their fuel products. The functions are listed in a set of tabs in the Site Options application located under the Fuel menu. The manager is able to configure items such as allowing a zero-price PPU, max number of pumps that can authorized at the same time, enforcement of grade selection on a prepaid, hold dollar requirements for prepays, presets, and postpay fueling limits. For international sites, technicians can select forms of measurement such as liters and centimeters. In the CREN Receipts, Messages, and Coupons tab, the CREN Receipt and General tab allows the managers to set the messages for all receipts printed at the CREN. These messages can be the same as inside sales or they can be unique to outside customers. The manager would simply enter the text via the keyboard for either receipts or promotional messages that display during the fueling process. The CREN Coupon tab allows the manager to create a unique coupon that would be printed at the end of the receipt in a unique fashion to capture the customer's attention. Please note this will print upside down. Pricing Levels For each supported pricing level, the customer is able to select the high and low amounts that fuel can be priced. The high PPU needs to be a number that is not too close to the current price of gas. That changes every day. The low PPU number must be low enough to handle any fuel discount efforts that may be supported at the store. These limits also help the manager from accidentally changing the price of gas to an unreasonably low price by mistake. Other topics. There are several other features offered in the Site Options tab that are unique to certain stores or dependent upon the use of third-party devices such as a price sign. To read more about these features, either look for Site Options under the Help key or read about it in your Passport Training Guide.